Alves.
some streets, and Oklahoma. So, just no two lane split highway through northern Kansas. This car, truck, trailer, maybe they're going street racing. Other than that, not a whole lot out here. So, anyway, so just got a call from Dominator. And suppose he's broke down somewhere out here. Suppose he a fuel line broke on his motorhome. I feel his pain. I had to stay an extra night at home because my motorhome locked up the AC compressor and I couldn't fix it last night. So we fixed it this morning and then uh, I saw in our group chat, dominators on the side of the highway, spraying fuel everywhere, broke injector line. And uh, so I'll pull over, check on him, see what's going on. If I can find him, I know he's up here somewhere. So he said he was on the side of the highway. I'm like, well, let's pull it off the highway. But he said there's not much traffic, so he's gonna fix it right there where it sits. He's got somebody uh, from Nebraska bringing him the part. And um, so we're right on the Kansas-Nebraska border. So somebody's gonna bring in the part and uh, he's gonna put it on right there on the side of the road and then we keep heading to cash days. So we're gonna find him, check on him, and uh, see what he's doing. See if he's having any fun yet. Cause I damn sure wasn't having fun on the side of the road. Or I, actually, I was broke down in my driveway, so I can't really say the side of the road, so. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks like that's him right there. Yeah, slow down. Yep, golly, he's right over a hill too. It's not really not Dominator, it's these damn motorhomes. These motorhomes are just shit. God, I, just, I, bought, I, I bought a million dollar motorhome and it's got a million dollars worth of problems. So it's like, you can't win. You buy a $500,000 motorhome, it has $500,000 worth of problems. So it's just par for the course. So let's go check on Dominator, see what he's doing. Got hazards on. There's Oklahoma. God, your feet are so big. A freaking idiot. Oh. I'm sure he's not in a good mood. Having to work on your shit on the side of the road. Trucks are flying by and you're just working on shit. So, it damn sure ain't no fun. I don't see him. <clears throat> Wonder if he's inside. What's what are you doing? <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> oh, you know, just hanging out. While you're doing <laughs> just hanging out on the side of the side of the highway. What the yeah. fuck, Dom? Are you on a live feed? Is that no, huh? Doing? No, this isn't a live feed. Is that just a pogo stick? Yeah, it's a pogo stick. <laughs> Me and my friend came. So you said you were like, I mean, you're like, when you said on the shoulder, yeah. you're on the fucking shoulder. I like, wasn't lying. Like everybody's got to get in the fast lane to go right. around you. Yeah, you just wait till a semi rolls by. Fuck. It's fantastic. You'll, be... You'll know. <laughs> so, okay, so at least you got the AC going. You can work on it from in here. Yes. Oh, that makes it better. Yeah, the only bad, so you see how I got the bed propped up? Yeah, I saw the slide outs yeah. out. If that pry bar moves, it falls down. I'm a dead man. Right. This is gonna cut me in half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Well, what are you gonna do? Found Dominator. Yeah. <laughs> Cash days 2020. <laughs> We're gonna call this so much COVID coronavirus cash days because this is the shittiest cash i it never fails all my shit breaks on cash days yeah. dominators on the side of the highway for cash days yeah. like i feel like they we're gonna have to call it something else yeah because if it says cash days 
we're not gonna win it. <laughs> we got to call it so much something else. So you know, you know, I went through a whole lot in the last four or five days, right? And Same. Then, and then I got everything lined out. I'm like, I'm actually gonna make it because yeah. I'm, I'm. You don't want to quit. You don't want to give up. No, and you're I'm not fighting. a quitter. We're not quitters. You're turning wrenches. You're like, I'm not gonna make it. There's no way in hell I'm gonna make it. And then all of a sudden, it's like, I'm gonna make it. I know. I and then. Man, I was rolling. We were, I mean, I was doing good. I top, I left that Concordia, went yeah. up over that bridge. Like, hmm, so it don't feel <laughs> right. <laughs> Why does it not diesel. feel right? It doesn't have the power it used to have. And then I smell fuel, I'm like, oh shit, I know what that is. Been... So are you like me? You have no help? Yeah, I'm all alone. I'm all alone too, yeah. <laughs> so I brought a friend to put in the passenger seats like right. they talk to me. <laughs> so he don't talk does much. Does he talk back? No, he doesn't really talk back. It's kind of weird. So, yeah, I'm by myself. Got everything loaded and then, you know, started the motor room, let it idle. And I heard this weird noise. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I opened the engine compartment and it's just smoke coming off the AC compressor. Oh. And it just locks up the compressor. So, quick thinking, I was going to get a shorter belt, right? Not even within six inches could I get a belt. Really? I said, I'll take a two rib at this point. Couldn't get one. <laughs> Tried to find a pulley. Somebody had a bypass pulley that you bolt where the compressor goes. Wrong one. So finally, nobody in town had an AC compressor. I had everybody working on it. And then, uh, so I went uh, to my buddy at O'Reilly's and I said, man, let's match this up. And he just, I don't know what the hell it fits, but we matched, it bolts on, it has a 12 rib pulley instead of an eight. I was like, fucking perfect. <laughs> That'll hold the belt, let's roll. I bolted it on there. I took the old AC compressor off, left the lines hooked to it, laid it on the frame, roped it on the frame, bolted that new compressor on, left the new caps on it, and rolled. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to get there tonight, so have a chance. I mean, it's like, we're gonna roll into cash days, we're gonna draw a chip out of the bucket, everybody else is testing, yeah. and then we're just gonna fucking wing it down this road. I'm gonna look at the road and go, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna put hold. this, that'll hold this. Yeah, that's gonna be me and Dom. So I've already decided, so. I've already decided I'm putting 15 pounds on the button, <laughs> that way, if, if the tune-up's a little shy, yeah, yeah, and if it's true. too much, you can just work the button yeah. all the way down yeah. through. There. That's true. So, well, Chuck was broke this morning. Dominator's broke in the afternoon. The bus has and COVID. Neither <laughs> one of us are in Nebraska yet, so we're not very far from it, Chuck. It's only like six it's, miles. It's only six miles, but we're still a long way from yeah, the race oh, spot. Yeah. Seven so, miles or seven hours, six seven hours. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Anyway, cash day is twenty twenty. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs>